You're listening to the September 26, 2019 reading of Blossom Goodchild's channeling with the Federation of Light. Well, hello. Anyone home? Feeling excited to get back in touch after my break. I'm still frolicking about on the stage, yet my days are now free. So, my friends, what's happening? The most warmest of welcomes to you, and indeed all those who have been eagerly awaiting to hear from us. We, too, are excited at the prospect of connecting once again with all of you. For even within these few short weeks of absence, much has been diagnosed and put in place in both the fore and back ground. What do you mean by diagnosed? In the greater, more out there scheme of things, much has been detected on an energetic level. There are vast pockets of light that are doing so much good to each and every aspect of life upon your planet. There are also elements of dusty progression regarding eliminating energies that no longer have a place in the grand scheme of things. From an explanation level of moving energy and from where we stand, it is very apparent that the dusty energy has very little strength left within it in the sense of knowing that it is defeated. This is in general, and yet there are still areas that refuse to give up and to give in. And yet there is little point in continuing the battle, for the light has taken its rightful stance. This is lovely to hear. Thank you. Yet there are those that feel that once again we've been hyped up only to be left dangling, nay dribbling, awaiting it. We smile from our inner being, Blossom. With the greatest of respect, it is for those that feel this way to perhaps tune in a little deeper to their knowing. To connect up to this knowing that all is in place. We do not feel we have left you dangling as you would say. When we speak of the energies ramping up, it is because they are. When we speak of the event getting ever closer, it is because it is. When we speak of time, confusion reigns. All of this that you are living within, all of this that is occurring upon your planet, is traveling along in its divine pace. We ask and have done so before, that you concentrate not on that which is to come, yet give your full attention to the love that you are, right here, right now. How are you feeling right now? Is it of joy? Is it of sadness? Take heed of your vibrational attitude at all times. For, dearest souls, your choice of vibrational thought is probably the most important aspect of that which you can bring to the table. Feeling despondent because the sky has not opened whilst trumpets sound, or because thousands of ships of light have not landed in your nearest park, is not what changes your world. Yes, we are very much aware of the fact that many of you feel you have been waiting for too long and that All that is channeled through many never comes to fruition. Yet you, each one, also knows that this inner feeling of knowing that you will continue on shining your light is what you are to do. Because you know its purpose in doing so. When you truly connect with each other through the I am the love, I am the light, I am cord, There is a bond, a union of strength that is swelling upon your planet such as never before. You know with inside of these changes that are occurring within you. We suggest that you adhere to the knowing of these changes, that walk alongside changes that may not seem so obvious on an outer appearance. Remember, dearest ones, there is much going on behind the scenes that is hidden from you. And it is not yet the correct timing for such things to be exposed. Yet when you choose to recognize the strength building within you, 
When you accept that stronger emotions rising up within you are doing so because of your lighter disposition, you cannot help but feel that you are ever closer to the most dramatic change ever to be experienced. I fully understand, and you are so right about the time aspect. So much is to come, this I know. Yet for us down here, when you say something is to occur, many feel within the next six months as a general time frame. And time after time, six months passes by and everything sort of feels pretty much the same. Yet, that is our point, Blossom. It isn't the same. Within every six months of your time that passes through space, so much has transpired. For instance? Mainly energetically. And this is the essence of the change. Consider, if you will, the amount of energy that lies within any one given thing. Let us say for now of an ornament on a shelf that has sat there for many a year. It is energy, part of everything and yet encapsulated within its own individuality of energy. The energy may have almost come to a standstill as it sits there. The energy may have become stale, almost stagnant, and yet even when a light soul walks past it, without knowing, it is changing the flow of the ornament because everything interacts with within everything. Imagine then the possibility of that ornament being picked up, dusted, and placed in a new place in reach of sunlight. An entirely new course for that ornament alone is now in play and affecting everything else around it, which in turn then affects everything around that, and then everything around that. As the ripple effect continues on ad infinitum. A small thing that could take place in one small house, in one small village perhaps, and yet the effect of its movement affects all. So then imagine, or begin to try, all the upheaval, all the change, as we leave behind an era of your time that has felt like it has been set in concrete for eons and is now flowing through into the light of love itself. Imagine all the energetic changes that are occurring within every breath. You and your planet are moving into a higher, brighter vibration of light. This has never been done before. This is huge. This cannot be minimized into a quick turn over, around, it simply cannot be conducted in that way. For each particle that is transforming affects the next, and the next, and the next. We do know that everything is shifting according to plan at the end of the day. Each action from anyone affects the whole. And we are not in charge of free choice. Therefore, this is why we commend you for doing all that you are doing. The progress that is moving forward in leaps and bounds is due to each one of you and your choice to be the light, to know that you are the light. We have spoken again and again and again, yet it is of much importance. When you know you are the light, you are making history. For the knowing is the key. You do not have to try. You just are. The effect this has is mind-blowing because light is power. We do not ask you to measure what voltage of light you are emanating. This is not a competition. We just ask you to know you are light. And within that knowing, the power of light itself emanates and works through you. When you continue to enforce within your core, I am the light, I am the love, I am, it brings forth your truth. It solidifies your truth. It magnifies into one energy 
all that knows it is light. Is that one energy light force is recognized within the soul self? No longer does one feel alone and useless. No longer does one feel that as an individual there is little they can do. For connecting with the light force energy, that is, it simply is, allows you to feel empowered by a force of well-being that surges through you knowingness. There can be no denial. And within that feeling, you know that it is happening. On the inside. And once it is transformed and settled into knowingness on the inside, so very quickly shall the outer experiences be exposed. In the understanding, the lightness of each one is ready and prepared to be in position to undertake their soul's purpose. Can you deny this is not so? Because each one of you feels that within. And it is felt within because it is truth. All is as it should be. Therefore, we ask those of you who are waning to remove all doubts and to build up from within your heart, soul, space, the strength that you need in order for you to excel at your personal position when the time comes. You are ready. Remain ready, and yet grow ever more in light love service wherever you are, whatever you are doing, whatever you are thinking. It is difficult to put into words that which we are trying to express, and yet we trust that when you take three deep breaths, smile and repeat, I am the light, I am the love, I am am. You get it. No words are necessary. No words can express that feeling. No words can explain that knowing, for it simply is. Shine, 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 shine your light. Enjoy shining. It gets you to where you are going so much faster. Thanks, guys. A pleasure to be back. And now we just need my new mailing list system to work and we're back in business. I know I speak for many when I say we love you. In gratitude, in loving service, I am.